Hey everyone, my name is Dave Glover. I'm a Microsoft Cloud Developer Advocate based in Sydney, Australia. Um, this is an overview of an air quality monitor solution I built on Raspberry Pi connected up to IoT Central. Now you'll find all the source code and a complete uh, tutorial on this solution at aka.ms slash air dash quality dash monitor. As I mentioned, I'm based in Sydney, Australia, so we're in pretty much the height of the pandemic at the moment, of course, and the city's in lockdown and you can see the air quality there is pretty decent. But back in December 2019, the height of the Australian bushfire season, Australia or Sydney was blanketed in smoke. Um, and you can see I had a particulate manage, uh, monitor on my balcony and it was measuring in the order of 1000 uh, for both PM 2.5 and PM 10. Now healthy levels for both those sensors are already between zero and 10. Now I built and debugged this application on Raspberry Pi 4, but I actually ran the application on a Raspberry Pi zero on the balcony. And this is what it looked like. So I'm, I've got an, um, an Enviro Plus hat with a PMS 50003 particulate matter sensor. I use Visual Studio Code and I installed the Visual Studio Code remote SSH development extension. And this basically gives me a desktop experience be it on Windows, Linux or Mac OS. And I can go and build applications on the Raspberry Pi. And I'm going to build an IT Central application and Visual Studio with Visual Studio Code. In IT Central, I'm going to create a, um, a set of charts which basically map out the data that's coming off the Raspberry Pi. So I'm going to pop across now and do a quick demo of the environment. So I'm going to start up IT Central. So I've already created an IT Central application called Air Quality Monitor. Now I'm going to create a device template. Now a device template basically maps provides a mechanism to map uh, the telemetry that's, telemetry that's coming from the Raspberry Pi into IoT Central and then create some reports. Now I am going to go through this quickly. Um, you will uh, find a complete rundown of this in the tutorial. So I'm going to name this uh, template called Air Quality Monitor and I'm going to import a capability model uh, this has the mapping between the data that's coming off the Raspberry Pi and IoT Central. I'm going to create a view to visualize the data. I'm going to visualize the particulate matter uh, telemetry, add a tile for that, and do the same for humidity, pressure, and temperature. And we'll just move that up so it's a bit easier to see. Save that, and I'm going to publish this into IoT Central. From the Devices tab, I'm going to create a new device and I'm going to assign it to that template that I've just created. I'm going to call this device Raspberry Pi Environmental Plus and the same for the device ID. Now, I appreciate it went through that super quick, but as I said, it's all documented in the uh, tutorial notes. Now, I've just opened that uh, device inside IoT Central and you can see that there is some existing data uh, inside IoT Central. It's just because I've run uh, this demo just a couple of times to get it all, all running. Now what I'm going to do is go across to Visual Studio Code and start that up. Now as I mentioned before, I've installed the remote SSH development extension inside Visual Studio Code. So I'm going to click on the bottom left hand corner to open up the, the dialog here, remote dialog, and I'm going to select remote SSH connect to a host. Now I'm going to select pylab-py. Now that's a configuration which has the remote, uh, the IP address of the Raspberry Pi, as well as the um, reference to the certificate that I'm using to authenticate onto the Raspberry Pi. So what I'm going to do now is open up the project. So I've clicked on Open Folder. So and you've got to remember here what I'm doing is I'm browsing the folders on the Raspberry Pi. So I'm going to open up the GitHub folder and open up the Environment folder. And this is the solution here. So this is a solution uh, which I've already cloned onto the Raspberry Pi. And I'm going to open up main.py. Now the first thing I'm going to do is make sure that this project is connected to IIT Central. So I've opened up the .env file and inside there you'll see the scope ID, device ID and device key. Now if I pop back to IIT Central and go and click on connect, you'll see that this is the information that I've got inside the project. So I've got the scope ID, device ID, and the key. And I'll just copy across the key, and I'll just paste that into this um, environment file. 
and save that. Now I'm going to go and open up main.py and I've got a breakpoint. Now the way the easy way to go and set a breakpoint inside Visual Studio, you just go and click to the left of the line number in the margin for Visual Studio. And I'm now going to go and press F5 and this will start the application on the Raspberry Pi. And you can see I've hit the breakpoint here and I'm just going to run through this uh, code. What I did then is I just hovered over the debug toolbar at the top of the screen and clicked step over. Or I could press F5. And you can see I can go and hover over variables. So in this case here, over the scope ID, the device ID, and the key. And I'm now just going to press F5 to start this application up. So what this application is going to do now is going to establish a connection up to IoT Central and then start measuring the sensor, the particulate matter sensor that's connected to the Raspberry Pi, um, does a number of samples on that, and then it will send a JSON formatted string up to IoT Central. And in a moment, we got our first one just come through then. So there goes the JSON formatted string um, that has a telemetry in it from, on the, from, the, from the Raspberry Pi that's been set up to IoT Central. Now what I'm going to do is pop across to IIT Central and we'll see that data coming through. Now the reality is it does take a minute or two for that data to be refreshed inside IIT Central. The data goes up straight away, but IIT Central kind of has a refresh cycle. So while that data is coming up, I'll just hover over the existing data that's inside the portal. Um, you see I can hover over the uh, particulate matter sensor variables, values, I can go and set what are called uh, markers. So I can drop markers, which provides a nice way to see what's going on. And I can do the same over here with temperature, humidity, and pressure. And again, I can go and drop a marker on the data. And you can see the data starting to flow in uh, from uh, that device and be rendered inside IoT Central. Okay, so I hope that gave you a bit of an idea how that kind of hangs together. Okay, and finally, I just want to talk about a couple of other projects uh, that you'll find on the web. Uh, so the first is a Raspberry Pi image classification solution. You can find more information about that at dev.2 slash gloveboxes. Second project I want to talk about is a Raspberry Pi Kubernetes cluster. Uh, you'll find more information on that at hackster.io slash glovebox. And the third project I want to talk about is building .NET Core applications on a Raspberry Pi running Linux. So .NET Core Framework runs on a Linux-based Raspberry Pi, and you can go and use Visual Studio Code, again, with that remote SSH uh, extension. And there are now a whole, whole set of open source IoT libraries available for .NET Core, which run beautifully well on the Raspberry Pi. So really, in summary, uh, as I mentioned a couple of times, you can find the complete source code and tutorial at aka.ms slash air-quality-monitor. And those are some other resources. So me up in dev.2, up in GitHub, and hackster.io. So thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed that and enjoyed the rest of the sessions.